Hello there and welcome. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the fastest and easiest non-technical method to install the most popular Stable Diffusion web UI, Automatic 1111. I'll be installing it locally on my Windows 11 PC running an NVIDIA GPU. This method involves no manual installs of Python, Git or Automatic 1111 and there's no writing of any command prompts. So if you're looking for a non-technical install method then this is perfect for you. An additional benefit of using this particular install method is that you get a host of other additional features and functions installed at the same time. I'll run over some of the more useful ones after the installation. So let's crack on. The first step is to download Stability Matrix from their official GitHub page. I've put the link in the description for you. Stability Matrix is an increasingly popular all-in-one manager for Stable Diffusion, allowing you to install and manage different Stable Diffusion interfaces, models and pretty much everything else you may need. Basically, a central hub for all your Stable Diffusion needs. Anyway, let's get into it. Open the GitHub page and scroll down a bit until you see the download button links for different operating systems. Click on the button for your operating system to download the installation file. I'm running a Windows 11 machine so I'll click the Windows link. Save the file to your preferred location. I'll save it to my E drive but it's a good idea to put everything in a dedicated folder so I'll create one named Stability Matrix. Select the folder and click Save. Once the file has downloaded, navigate to that location and extract the file using any zip tool. I'll unzip it using 7-zip into my Stability Matrix folder. The second step is to install Stability Matrix and Automatic 1111. Open the extracted Stability Matrix folder. Inside you'll find a Stability Matrix.exe file. Double click it to start the installation process. If a Windows Defender Smart Screen Protection warning pops up, click the More Info link and then the Run Anyway button. If it's the first time running Stability Matrix on your machine, it'll run a quick check on your system to make sure it meets requirements. If everything's good, you just need to tick the License Agreement checkbox and click Continue. I've installed Stability Matrix previously so I don't see that window. On this next window, you're given the option to select an installation location for your data. I'll install it in my Stability Matrix folder that I created. It's important that you tick the Portable Mode checkbox. This ensures all data and files are kept only in the installation folder and not spread about your PC. It also allows you to just cut and paste the whole parent folder to a new drive location or even a different computer and continue to use it from there. Once you've checked Portable Mode, click the Continue button. On the next window, click Stable Diffusion Web UI by Automatic 1111. The installation of Automatic 1111 will begin. During the installation process, you'll be prompted to install any additional models that you may want. Stability Matrix does come pre-installed with a default model, but you may want to add better or specific models. You can do this now or after installation. I won't bother installing any other models for now, so I'll just click the close button. Otherwise, select one or more models and click the download button. This part of the installation process will take a while, so I'll fast forward through. Eventually, a completion message will be displayed. Click the hide button and then click the green launch button. The first time you do this all the latest required files will be downloaded. Again, this part of the installation process will take a while, so I'll fast forward through. Once it completes, the Automatic 1111 Web UI will open automatically in a new browser tab. That's it! Automatic 1111 is now installed. Now that everything's installed, I'll quickly run over a couple of useful Stability Matrix features and functions that you'll probably need. Next time you want to launch Automatic 1111, you'll do so through Stability Matrix. To do this, you can either open your Windows Start menu, 
then find and click the Stability Matrix app. Or you can double click the StabilityMatrix.exe file that you ran to do the initial installation. Whichever one you choose you'll then just need to click the green launch button. Personally I find it easier to just create a shortcut icon on my desktop to launch the app instead of needing to navigate through menus, drives, folders and files every time. If you ever want to update Automatic 11.11 you can do so easily through Stability Matrix. Open Stability Matrix if it's not open already. Click the hamburger icon to expand the navigation panel. Click Packages and then on the Automatic 11.11 package click the three ellipses and then check for updates. If you want to browse for or install new models then doing so via Stability Matrix is nice and easy. Click Model Browser from the Navigation Panel and you can search for a whole range of models including checkpoints, LoRa's, control nets and more directly on Civit AI or Hugging Face. If you just want to check out what's available then leave the search box blank and click search. You can then filter the results as you want. If you install more than one Stability Diffusion interface such as Comfy UI or Focus using Stability Matrix one of the big benefits is that you only need to install the model once and you can use it across all your Stability Diffusion interfaces. I've just touched upon a couple of the most useful features of Stability Matrix to get you up and running but it's definitely worth spending a couple of minutes having a look around some of the other features within Stability Matrix. It really has got a lot to offer. Anyway, hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.